I'm sending you chamber writing from a house that has no windows nor doors. I'm sending you chamber writing from a house that has no end. I'm a child before the big day. I want to sleep, but I don't want to. I don't want to miss any part of the show. I've been writing to you from here for a decade now. I know the house is open. The house is open to its secrets, its fantasies, its stages and its spectacles. The house is open to my intimate friends and to others sometimes. The house has its nights and it has its days. The house has its heat and it has her tempests. Sometimes she, did I call her she? She has only sounds and she plays her own music. She and I can be a he and for sure, she and he are also we, gender, number, fluidity. The chaos of the house gets tidied with the disappearing footsteps I put on its soundtrack. Its disorder vanishes as musical instruments that are tuned before the classical and electronic music begin. Sometimes the house improvises, and what it sounds like is beauty. Nevertheless, its beauty can be a fugue. I'm growing up, but I'm still a child looking at it. I walk, I write, I build, I deconstruct. Always I see, I scheme. Wet galleries, dry perspectives, materials, light, shadow, colors of the air, and volumes in blacks, in whites, walls as screens. The house is as erotic and sensual as an Antonioni. The house is as arid and perverted as a Pasolini. But the house does not retain anything anyway, and does not wear any cinematography, any scenography. Now the night is coming and the walls phosphoresce around me. A crude fanfare is coming to my ears from the village. Fireworks are fusing. We could walk any cities. We know its body and structure. It is on our side anywhere. We can convoke its presence beside we. I thank the house for its strength. I thank the house for its dances. I thank the house for its ubiquity. I do adore it. It does fascinate me.
gigantic kingdoms from nowhere. The act of looking at it is an uppercase letter. The house is a box with a hole to the sky. The house is masculine when he covers me in his heavy Aztec dream for the night. The mountain around is sacred. It is under the volcano. The house is a trans-secular familial constellation made of violence, war constructions, cochineal red drapes, pleated women, and carnivorous smiles that would have decided tonight to include me in its myths, to include me in its truth, to invite me into its reality. The house, as I do, turns on its axis and jumps in the pool. We let ourselves float in a cross figure, and we look at the clouds moving, swallows quench their thirst. The house and I are still. We go back to our courage, our desire, our strong room with a view. We go back again to the illuminated Matisse paintings, toward the palm tree, toward the sea. The house, as it already said, is a box with a hole to our dreams and visions, to the ruptures, but also to empty spaces. I moved furniture and scorpions crush under poetry anthologies. There is no sea, just our territory, a side of a country. ultraviolet thunder smells. Invitation, intensity, interior of outdoors, unswerving integrity, the house uses pleonasms. The house is a music box. The house is a jewel box with nothing conspicuous. The house is a rhythm box that leads us and everything is new. The house is open to the landscape. The house is open by the landscape. The house is always volunteer. It is the ruin of the future. It is a birthplace and a mausoleum, a sanctuary. It is every story, any fire, and any letter. It is the life of some man and the life of some woman. Well thought, it could be anyone. The house is the shelter of the day after. Una cosa mentale, una casa mentale.